In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Joomla on your latest Linux Ubuntu server 24.04. Hello and welcome back to my channel. What exactly is Joomla? So in easy wording, I'm going to say it's the brother of WordPress. So actually it's a free open source CMS, the content management system. And the benefits of Joomla, there is a list. So number one is free open source. It's popular, it's SEO optimized, it's easy to use, secure and stable, multi-language, mobile friendly, fast and highly scalable. And other than that, it's the fifth most largest used content management system in the world. All right, let's jump to the putty screen and start the process of installation. Okay, so first of all, here I am on my Ubuntu server 24.04 and let's just quickly check the IP address. And the IP address is 10.0.0.1.3.4. So I'm gonna log in using the putty and it's uh, the first time so that's why it's showing this uh, signature message fingerprint so you have to accept this and then i'm gonna try logging in here so i'm logged in into the putty so i'm just going to minimize this screen and one more thing what i do for you guys is to change the settings of uh, the text so you guys can easily see and read what exactly i'm doing so i'm gonna just uh, change the size of font and just bold it so you guys can read easily what i'm doing okay so let's start the installation process of this one step number one index update so we type sudo apt update and then it's going to ask me for the password again and then it will start updating the index step number two now we're going to install apache server for that the command is sudo apt install apache2 and then it's gonna confirm do you want to continue i'm gonna uh, hit y key and then enter for the verification yes i do want to install it so the apache 2 service is installed successfully step number three now we are going to install php and other dependencies and you can get these commands from the description of this video and it's gonna take like few seconds it seems like php installation is almost completed so after the completion of installation we will verify the version of php and then also we will check uh the apache 2 version as well just for the verification if it's installed successfully all right let's check the version of php for that the command is php space hyphen v and here you can see the php version 8.3.6 and then i'm gonna check the apache 2 version and uh that's uh, 2024 build so that means that's latest step number four now we are going to install mysql server for that the command is sudo apt install mysql dash server yes confirm okay meanwhile it's installing mysql server we can check our apache uh, in the web browser as well 10.0.0.0 134 so you can see it's showing me the apache 2 default page so that means apache was installed successfully okay my sql server is successfully installed now we are going to create database in my sql for that first we need to go into my sql my sql space hyphen u is going to be root and uh, there is no password set for now so that's why it did not ask me for the password and uh, now we are going to put some commands i'm going to copy but make sure you change the stuff uh, i will tell you step by step so the first command is to create a database so now we are going to create a database and the database name is joomla if you want to change that you can change this uh, word joomla and uh, you can do whatever you want and then now i'm going to create 
a user and a, a password for this database so i'm going to create user joomla1 and identified by and it's the password so you can set whatever password you want and uh, you will find the commands in the description of this video as well and then the next thing i'm going to grant the access so let me show you how this command is going to work so grant uh, all so that means all access on this database this is the database name to this is the username the database username right here to localhost because we are using mysql on this this machine this server so that's going to be localhost and that's all we need to do in this one and make sure you guys write down this stuff so now we're going to just exit from it step number five now we are going to download joomla application from the joomla website so first of all i'm going to uh the var ww and html directory so you can see here is one index file uh, which was showing when i opened up uh, with the ip address the apache 2 page so let's go to uh, the joomla website and right click here copy link address and here we will type this command wget sudo wget and then i will paste that command and uh, i'm gonna remove the end of this one and i will keep until uh, full stable package dot zip and then hit enter and it's gonna download and let's check if it's here yeah you can see joomla file and uh, now we're gonna unzip okay i'm going back to the same directory and let's check if we have all the files yes uh, there is all the files and we have index.php as well okay and then i'm going to remove this zip file okay that file is removed and the last thing i'm going to do is to uh, restart apache service okay so the step number six let me show you something first uh, if i do ls minus la so you can see the html permissions are under root it should be under www data for that we are going to change the ownership of that folder so that's the command for that so there you go you can see the installation package here so here we need to enter the joomla site name so i'm just gonna give it a name and set up login data so it's going to be the super user the administrator details and the email address okay so this is the page what i was talking about while creation of database so uh, it's asking for the select database type so it's my sqli and my sql pdu so we will select this one and here we will uh, enter the database name so i saved it uh, in my notepad file and that is joomla oh sorry uh enter the database username sorry it's the username so it's going to be joomla1 and the password what i created while uh installation of database and enter the database name here so it's this and then it's asking for the uh table prefix whatever you want to set you can set uh, i will keep this as as it is and just to verify the password i'm gonna uh, check this one more time yeah and then i'm gonna click on install joomla okay so there was error for a uh, short no sorry uh, the password was too short because I set my name just Talha and otherwise it's required to have at least 12 characters uh, in the password and the super user should be super strong so mine was not uh, that strong so that's why it was showing me some error message uh, other than that installation is in progress so I'm gonna just uh, pause the video recording and I will show you how it's gonna look like after the installation okay so it says congratulations your joomla site is ready and i can install additional languages as well as i told you in the start of video that you can add multiple languages 
and uh, other two options are open site and open administrator so let's do one by one first let's open the site so it's gonna look like this so this is the home page uh the login form and uh, okay so this is the default page of my website because i don't have anything yet so let's try uh, the administration panel so it's administrator okay and then i'm gonna log in with my super username what i just created while the setup of this one and uh, it's gonna tell me some initial information i'm just crossing this so this is uh, the administrator panel of Joomla so you can create articles here categories fields group media whatever it's it's almost same like WordPress if you have ever uh, been through the WordPress administration panel so it, it's almost same and you can also create users group and under system they're definitely going to be uh, system settings and stuff like that so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and this was only the video of uh, installation joomla on uh, linux server 24.04 and i seen some errors and that was good uh, i'm gonna say when you see some errors you learn more so i showed you everything uh, what kind of error if you see how you can fix that but other than that if you see any other kind of issues you can just comment me below and i will send you the fix of that thank you so much once again and don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel i will see you in the next video bye bye